Hey folks, this is Jeremy Ham from Hamtone Guitars, www.hammtone.com or guitarbuildingschool.com. Teach people how to repair and build guitars, both acoustic and electric. Here you can see a broken J45 headstock. The poor thing came in and it was in bad shape. It had been repaired multiple times. And once a guitar comes in, it's been repaired multiple times. You can't just glue it back. It's going to break again. So it was time to acknowledge that it was a worthwhile instrument to repair properly. So what we did is measured it all up and made sure I had the decal in hand. And uh, I machined about a 180 thousandths of an inch off the back of the headstock so I could put a back strap on similar to what Taylor Guitars does in their new guitars and then a new headplate veneer both the back and the front veneers were made from mahogany the original neck was a five piece uh, mahogany neck as far as the width of the headstock goes so I made a new headstock uh, plate that was also made of five pieces of mahogany however the dimensions were a little bit different that way it would sort of be staggered with how it would overlap you can see uh this is, there's a serial number and the made in the usa label on the back there recorded that so i could replicate that when i would put it all back together i put two spleens in on the front two spleens in on the back and then i glued and clamped the head plate veneer and back strap on in such a way that they would add strength to the guitar. After the glue was dry, I trimmed and fitted it, got it all shaped back to how it should have been, and then uh, prep sanded it and got it ready for finishing. I like to use shellac for a sealer, so I French polished it with the old fashioned French polishing technique using a pad and cheesecloth uh, combination and just uh, methyl hydrate and shellac you can use isopropyl alcohol if you wish as well or everclear but methyl hydrate is pretty cheap and it works really well you can see me french polishing the sealer there just to make sure that everything's nice and closed in before i apply the lacquer and, and the, the color and after the, the guitar was all sealed up i got the HVLP spray gun and I sprayed some tint. Actually, you know what? Before that, I put the serial numbers in the Made in the USA uh, stamps in the back. And after that was done, then I, uh, I applied the color. You can see that's where I marked out where the serial numbers should go. So here's the lacquer. It's all tinted and a little bit darker than the original color, but it's set up in such a way that it covers the wound so it's not really noticeable. If you shine some light on it, really bright light you can see, but other than that, it's pretty invisible. There's the decal being applied, and after the decal was applied, I put some clear coat on top to seal it all in, and then buffed it out. The results were fantastic. The guitar is strong. It should not break anywhere near that area. If it's gonna break, it'll break somewhere else. And uh, everything fit just beautifully. I even used the original truss rug cover, which still has a little bit of a wound, but it makes it look original, makes it look vintage, which it is. And there's the beautiful guitar after it's all done. The music you're listening to is written and performed by Del Barber, one of Manitoba's prized singer-songwriters. And uh, he plays a hand tone too. And uh, if you need a guitar fixed, or you want to learn how to build or repair, hamtone.com or guitarbuildingschool.com. My name is Jeremy Ham. Thanks for checking out this video. And if you want to look at any other videos on my page, you are welcome to do so. Shoot me a message if you have any questions or if you'd like a guitar. Thanks and have yourself a great day.